What's good, y'all? I'm Robel Takare, creator of the Fly Kicks movement and owner of the Fly brand. You're tuned in to Spot on Sports. The Cowboys have made a lot of off-season moves this year. So, with the moves that have been made, do you think this seals the NFC East for the Cowboys for the second year in a row? History says no, man. Like, but, but, now Jay ought to interrupt me. All right, this is my monologue. I get my turn. Okay. All right. uh, history says that it's supposed to be a down season for the Cowboys, but I think that they're going to be able to avoid that. Here's why. Because last year, two teams got in from the NFC. So you slid in at the end. Now, I'll be, this is what I did say, Nick Foles is no longer there. We just got away from Nick, uh, Carson Wentz to get hurt. And then we're going to be – but nah, <laughs> um, they, they made all the right moves. And coming up in this draft, you really just kind of drafted for depth. You got your starters, whatever they're doing with Jeff Heath and the Georgia logo. Um, I, I, I love Robert Quinn and, and the Robert Quinn, Quinn trade and uh, – sorry, receiver. Randall Cobb. Oh, I love what they're doing with that. It's, it's, it's still out of the Eagles. You can't, you can't dismiss Philadelphia because Philadelphia was on your neck last year. Albeit everything that was happening to them coming out of the Super Bowl, off the Super Bowl win, they still got to the playoffs. They made moves in, in free agency too. Carson Wentz, before he gets hurt, will be healthy. Those are things that we all, that we have to consider. I think I think the Cowboys can get back to the playoffs. Okay. Now I would like to introduce my special guest, Jr. Thank you for joining us. Jr. Well, you've been over there in Fiji, so you better have something good to say. I can't believe you would think. All right, good luck. First of all, they will make the playoffs, and they will be number one in the NFC wow. East. Simply because we just re-signed the Marcus Lawrence. Nah. That's that. That was a, a key, a key to the defense. In order to win games, it starts on that D line. You got your, you got your initial right there. You just sealed the deal by re-signing him. Also, with this draft coming up. We should be focusing on getting rebuilding around this offensive line, getting more depth in the secondary position. Because there's no telling what can happen. There's no depth back there, I can hear. And also, we should possibly start focusing on another running back. Just in case. With that being said, Dallas still, Dallas will still make the playoffs. How are you just gonna dismiss Philadelphia like that? Look, Carson Wentz is coming back from a horrible injury. I know. It's hard to come back from from a, what was a spinal cord. So yeah, some weird back. Yeah, the back injury. Back The spinal cord is everything in the human body. Without that, you can't walk. True. With an injury like that, it's hard to come back from. And one more, one more serious, serious hit. He be done. Can. So right now he has that on the back burner. So right now, if I was Philly, I'll be focused on getting a, another quarterback. Oh my God! Wow. No, look, I totally, I, t I get it. I get it. We have these seasons of success with the Cowboys. Same teams, same yes. great teams. Don't get me wrong. Turn around and if something blows out. How can you ensure? How can you ensure me that? And don't get me wrong. D. Law's been hurt. Yes, he was he hurt has, last year. And now that's a big question. Like, he gave his man last game in the playoffs. Last game in the playoffs. Where was D. Law at? I understand that. That was a huge question. We had Taco Charlton in the game. That's what I'm saying. I understand. I'm saying. And he is having off-season surgery to repair his uh, shoulder, I believe. Right. So, is he going to come back the same player? Okay, that boy, man. Yeah, the boy. That, okay, now that's a good question. Right. That's, that's the link right. right. over that's his head right there. Right. That, okay, that is. But they still have a possibility to go on the playoffs. With the addition of Robert Quinn, 
and possibly Randy Gregory coming back as well. Play the stars, right? Yes, hopefully. Uh, please, please come back, Randy. But yes, and with the return of Sean Lee being the leadership, more he's been more of a leader now. He has two young great linebacker studs. It sounds good, America. It sounds good. I mean, it's yeah, it, it sounds good, but trust me, it it's going to be a wonderful season. Cowboys just don't break my heart. With I, the I believe in, I believe in you, Jr. I believe in you. And you say that we're going to be there at number one and all the other good stuff that you've been cooking up for me. <laughs> it smells good. With the departure of Odell from New York now? We ain't worried about We're talking about Philly. Okay, but Philly is one team. But we also just can't forget about New York, though. For some reason, you know, New York is New York. New York can hang around for days. Nah, no, no, but, okay. but no deal. We do thank you for going to Cleveland. Thank you. All right, thank you guys. I'd like to say thank you to my special guests, Tony, Jr., and Sequoia. I am your host, Breon Franklin. Make sure you rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, this is SOS Discussions. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in to this week's episode. Be sure to check out more shows here on this YouTube page, such as SOS Discussions, or My Point Exactly. And most of all, keep watching Spot On Sports. It's a new wave of sports that's sweeping the nation. We're not just accurate, it's spot on.